Oh man, so if triggers are cheating, I might as well just use my hands and throw away all my drumsticks, huh? You know, lately I've seen like a lot of these metal drummers are super awesome. They've got a lot of versatility and dynamics in their playing and they do have feel and can groove the heck out of a drum set. But then you get these odd random comments from these other drummers that are like, what are you gonna play so fast? There's no feel to that. So in this video, I'm gonna bust three myths about metal drummers that are just completely untrue. Let's get into it. So the first topic of discussion is gonna be about triggering. Now the first thing you're gonna think is like, oh, triggers are cheating. If I'm gonna go down that path, then I might as well beat the dead horse again, dig him up, and then bury him again. But there are a couple things that I do wanna break down and show you exactly what's happening with triggering and why it's definitely far from the truth. Incredible, isn't it? You actually have to hit the kick drum. I, I can't believe it. That's how that works. Wow. I put together a 10 drum lesson guide, a PDF downloadable guide that you can have to keep forever for free, along with a video lesson that follows every single lesson. If you're interested in that, I'll pin it down in the comments below and it'll also be in the description. So go get that, sign up for that completely free. Let's get back to the video. Oh yeah, you know what I heard? If you go in here and your trigger setup and you go over to your sensitivity and you crank it right up, everybody's gonna think you're really sick and you have really good feet. That's kind of a head scratch, don't you think? It's like if you increase the sensitivity on your module, that doesn't automatically mean you're gonna be able to play awesome on your double kick pedals. If anything, it's gonna amplify the amount of slop you have in your feet. So using this as a tool to try and cover up your poor playing is definitely not a valid argument. It's just gonna highlight where your weaknesses are in your playing. So actually, if anything, if you would like to get better at double bass drumming, Put a set of triggers on there, then that'll really tell you what you need to work on. You know what's really disheartening is when you see a colleague posts a drum video in a group and some old man who yells at Cloud says, oh, that doesn't require any talent. All you do is just play fast and you just hit things like really fast and very controlled and very in time. And what is their argument? I think what people like that need to understand is that of course they do understand that speed is not everything. And maybe that's the idea they're trying to convey and it's more or less the fact that we need to be able to control our ability to play fast and I think that is what is going to get you your speed and endurance to begin with but it's just them coming out saying that well metal drumming doesn't require any talent so why even post here your drumming is inadequate. The third myth that I think people really seem to focus in on is the fact that metal drummers are kind of in their own lane and that's all they do which is great because if you want to do well at something and specialize in something then you do need to focus on doing that one thing really well. On the other hand, as a drummer, you wanna musically approach the drum kit with proficiency and a large vocabulary. So that means you just wanna learn a bunch of different styles. Now, some drummers are really good at specific things and then some drummers try and expand on everything while losing focus on individuality. But it's not necessarily true that all metal drummers are only good at metal. Look at guys like Thomas Hake. Heck, even Samus was playing jazz on his channel and I thought it was done really well. You get my point, I can go on and on about how many different drummers are more or less really technically proficient in a bunch of different musical styles. So next time you see some person comment, well, he only plays metal, show him a couple videos of other really well-known drummers that can actually play circles around them in other genres too. If you know of any other metal drumming riffs, then I challenge you to write a comment down below and we can have a grown-up discussion about what you think people think are myths about metal drummers. Remember to keep an open mind when it comes to music and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Cam Flurry, and I'll see you in the next video.